Hello, I am therapist and holistic nutritionist Jazz Robbins, and I am thrilled to be spending the next several weeks with you as we tackle some really, really important mental health issues that our kids, our teens, our adolescents deal with, and they just don't get talked about enough. If you're just joining us here for the first time, welcome. Please make certain that after you watch this segment that you go back and watch the others because there's so much good information that I wanna make sure that you get. I may not be your therapist, but I want to make sure that I provide you with some information, some insight, and some love. And so I hope you'll listen. I hope you'll listen with open ears and an open heart. As you know, singer-songwriter Grace Gosted has released new music, and the album is titled Black Box. Black Box is made up of 12 incredible songs that when put together, they tell the story of teen trauma and a path to healing. This week's song is Code Black, and it tackles depression in action. My favorite lyric from the song is, I see the pain in your smile. That lyric touches me in such a soft spot because I remember smiling and fingers crossed, I hoped to God someone would see the pain in my smile. Question, have you ever been fake happy? Have you ever had the experience that you were moving through life, that you were doing all of the things, that you were showing up in all of the places, that you were pretending and you were doing it pretty good, but inside you were hurting. This week, I wanna to talk to you about depression. Depression, much like trauma, it's one of these words that we just really toss around to and fro a lot. Oh my gosh, I'm so depressed. Oh God, that movie made me depressed. That commercial made me depressed. After that test, I'm depressed. And sure, you may be down after those moments, but when we talk about clinical depression, we're talking about something very serious and very specific. Clinical depression, it describes a time, a phase, a period, a situation in a person's life when they feel sad most of the day, all of the day, for two weeks or longer. So this is more than I'm feeling bad because I just saw a sad movie or a sad commercial. In addition to that sadness that lingers and sticks, on top of that, they could have trouble sleeping. Maybe it's insomnia where I'm not sleeping enough or hypersomnia where I'm sleeping too much and I just can't seem to drag myself out of bed. With either, they still wake up tired. They still wake up exhausted. Depression can make you lose interest in things that you used to love and that you used to enjoy. It can make you feel guilty, like a guilt that just rides your back every single day. You might even be so tired, so fatigued, that you just feel like, oh my gosh, I don't even have the energy to get out of bed. Yes, I'm awake, but I can't get out of bed. I can't leave the house. You might find it hard to concentrate. Maybe it's difficult to focus on doing schoolwork, on watching a television show, on having a conversation with a friend. You might find it hard to even make decisions because the concentration is so difficult. Perhaps you're having difficulties with your appetite. Without even trying, you're losing weight or gaining weight and it's noticeable. You may even find yourself just moving slower than you would ordinarily. Depression, unfortunately, can also make you feel like your life isn't worth living. Let's be clear. Look at me when I say this. It is. Your life is 100% worth living. Depression is awful. It's not fun. It makes you doubt yourself. It makes you feel alone. You might be spending most of your days crying and then you get sad on top of that because someone asks, why are you crying and you don't have an answer? Sometimes with depression, we can easily put our finger on the thing that triggered it, the thing that caused it. 
Sometimes we can't. Sometimes it's so thick and so heavy, and it's just been a part of our lives for so long, we can't remember not being depressed. If you feel like you're struggling with this sadness that you just can't shake, please, please, please talk to somebody. Talk to somebody that you trust. Talk to somebody that you know will listen. Talk to someone that you believe will truly understand. If you don't feel like you have that person in your life, please call Teen Line. It's a hotline that's for teens and it's run by teens. It's the very hotline that I worked at when I was in high school. The folks answering the phone, they're trained. They're so well trained. They're trained to help you get over this hump, help you get over this immediate crisis, but to also connect you with long-term resources so that you can continue to get the help that you need and the help that you deserve. Even if you just make the call for me, please make that call because what I do not want, I do not want you to suffer in silence. Depression is so cruel, it's so mean, it's so insidious that if it's not tackled immediately, it can feel like our entire lives are crumbling. I wanna share a tip with you this week. I hope you've got your index card and I hope you've been adding to your toolbox. This week, it's intense exercise. Now, I'm not asking you to go and do CrossFit and get uncomfortable, but I want you to think about 30 second bursts of exercise cut with a 10 second pause. So when I say intense exercise for 30 seconds, what I mean is jumping jacks. If you are in a place where you can get outside and just sprint down the block, do that. If you're not, put on some music and jam, but jam hard for 30 seconds. I want you to start sweating in 30 seconds. Give me some high knees running in place for 30 seconds. If you can do push-ups, do them for 30 seconds. And I want you to go full out for these 30 seconds. Cut it with a 10 second pause and then do it right back again. If you do that for about three intervals, you will feel a difference. When we are incredibly aroused or opposite, when we feel like we don't have the motivation to do anything, those intense bursts of exercise can shoot our energy up just enough so that we can put one foot in front of the other. Here's what I know about depression. So often individuals say, well, as soon as I'm not depressed, then I'll do that thing. As soon as I'm not depressed, then I'll re-engage with my life. What science tells us is that action actually precedes motivation. What I mean is even though it feels awful and you don't feel like it, you have to put one foot in front of the other and go and do and engage. I don't want you to be at home sitting with this sadness by yourself. Remain connected, don't be isolated, and please, please, please talk to someone. I am therapist and holistic nutritionist Jazz Robbins. I want you to know that you are worthy, you matter, and you absolutely deserve to experience the full awesomeness that your life has to offer. I hope you'll join us here next week. Until next time, bye-bye.